Farmers considering running a dairy calf to beef system have to aim for top quality silage at all times. Like some other livestock systems, dairy calf to beef production have stock that need to gain weight at every stage of their life in order to remain profitable. Farmers need to target silage of 70 to 75 DMD, and this means harvesting a crop of beefy grass with very little stem present. First cut silage should be fertilized with 80 to 100 units of nitrogen, 20 units of phosphorus, and 100 units of potassium. 3,000 gallons of slurry can provide in the region of 20 to 27 units of nitrogen, 50 to 20 units of P, and 90 to 120 units of K. Testing of the slurry may be recommended. When harvesting grass silage, take a sample to be tested. Ensure that sugar levels are above three. Sugar levels will generally be the highest in the middle of the day to evening, so this is the best time to cut. Target to harvest from mid to late May. Silage digestibility will drop by 2.5 to 3 units per week. Targeting bulk is a false economy where quality is required. Silage of 72 GMD or greater is capable of achieving 0.6 kilos per day of lightweight gain on store cattle on a silage only diet. Delaying your cutting by two weeks will reduce your lightweight gain by 0.25 kilos per day. This silage will require extra concentrate feeding over the winter, which can add substantially to your variable costs. I have improved the quality of my silage over the past four years by ensuring I have adequate fertilised crop in cutting on time. I make all base silage using my own equipment and never wait for bulk. I bulk crops once weather allows in May. I always target lighter crops of high quality to target a higher level of performance over the winter and wanings. I am now achieving a faster finish on my freezing sears in the winter with most finishing over 60 or 70 days and high quality silage at 4 or 5 kg of mean per day. Thank you.